G'day, Patrick Kidd, Chief Executive of the Future Skills Organisation. Thank you for the incredible support we've received from you this year. The pace of change across the finance, tech and business sectors is significant and our role is to work with industry, government and training providers to address the most critical skills gaps. When I look back over the last 12 months, you know, we think about the highlights of, of what's been achieved. Firstly, we've listened through a range of engagement forums that we've run, most notably the National Forum in the middle of the year. Secondly, we've learned by listening and we've created a workforce plan which will set the basis for how we think and define the sector that we all operate in. Third, we've challenged thinking. We've participated in the discussions and the debate at a policy level about what needs to change to ensure that the education and training system is more responsive to your needs. And perhaps most importantly, what we've done is we've built a community of people like you that are shaping and influencing our thinking. So as we look towards 2025, it's really important we reflect on what we've learned over the last 12 months. So some of those key learnings. The pace of technological change is increasing. We need to have people who are lifelong learners. But qualifications are increasingly less important than skills. That many of those skills are common across occupations and across industries. And yet we still see the absolute importance of things like cyber and generative AI on the skill system. We need entry level pathways that are properly and clearly defined. And we need to have a system whereby industry engages with the training sector, because where that happens, the quality of the training is so much better. So when I think about 2025, I'm hugely excited. Lots and lots of great opportunities, lots and lots of great reforms being considered by the government that will offer the potential to, to really shift the system. When I think about the work that we're doing as the FSO, we want to move from analysis into delivery. We want to focus upon the most important skills working with the training sector to, to deliver things on the ground which have real impact. We've got some super exciting projects coming up in 2025. Things around cyber, generative AI, entry-level pathways, digital capability, to name but a few. It's also going to be really important for us to continue to deepen our relationships with you as our community to ensure that we're getting the insights and the support that we need to do the work that we have to do. Have a great holiday. Thanks again. Patrick Kidd, Jobs and Skills Councils, out.